Okay, so we're diving deep today. And, uh, well, let's be honest. This is something a lot of people are thinking about right now. Yeah, definitely big topic. Sean Mendes, right. I mean, he kind of took everyone by surprise at Red Rocks the other night. Uh, I mean, yeah, that was pretty major to just come out and say all that right in the middle of a concert. Right, and at Red Rocks, of yeah. all places. So, I mean, anyone who follows him, even a little, you know, knows. Knows he's been in the spotlight since he was, what, like 15? 15. I mean, can you even imagine? No, no. Think about being 15 and having every little thing you do analyzed you know, relationship rumors. Oh, yeah. Constant scrutiny. Every single relationship, real or imagined, splashed all over the Internet. Exactly. And it's not like it's just the tabloids anymore, right? It's social media. It's everywhere. It's inescapable. And I think that's what makes this whole thing even more interesting, right? Because yeah. he's basically saying, look, I'm figuring this out just like everyone else. And he's doing it so publicly in front of all of those people. I mean, talk about vulnerability. Total vulnerability. And in a way, I think that's what Red Rocks is all about, right? It's this legendary venue that's known for those raw, authentic performances. Absolutely. It's almost like he chose that setting specifically to make this statement. Yeah, like, this is me, this is my truth, and I'm sharing it in a place that values realness. I mean, I, you've got to admire that, right? He could have just kept quiet or, you know, released a carefully worded statement online like so many celebrities do. Totally, but he chose to do it right there on stage in front of thousands of people. So we actually have an article here that breaks down some of the key moments from that night and, you know, goes a little deeper into his journey. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first off, it talks about how he basically started his career as a kid, right? Mm -hmm. 15 years old. I mean, that has to impact your development, your sense of self. Oh, absolutely. I mean, those teenage years are so crucial for figuring out who you are and what you believe in. Right. And you're already dealing with so much just as a regular teenager, you know, hormones, social yeah. pressures, all that. And then you layer on top of that this massive level of fame and public scrutiny. I mean, that's got to be a lot for anyone to handle, let alone someone so young. Right. And I think it really speaks to this larger conversation we're having about the pressures on young celebrities. Especially those who find fame so young. Exactly. I mean, think about it. They essentially miss out on a lot of those typical teenage experiences. Yeah, those formative experiences that help you define who you are. Exactly. They're thrust into this adult world with all these expectations and pressures, and it's got to be incredibly disorienting. And like the article says, even though he's only ever been publicly linked to a few women, the rumors about his dating life have been nonstop. Yeah, and that constant speculation can really mess with your sense of self. It's like you're being forced to define yourself in this very specific way, even if it doesn't feel right. And for someone like Mendez, who is still figuring things out, it adds this whole other layer of complexity. Then there's this one part in the article that talks about the lyrics to his new song, The Mountain. Oh yeah, where he sings, You can say, I like girls or boys. Whatever fits your mold. Talk about a power move. Right. He's not shying away from the topic at all. He's addressing it head on in his music. And I think it's really interesting that he chose to do it in a song, right? Because music is such a powerful way to connect with people. Totally. It's like he's inviting his fans into this really personal journey. And it's not just about him, right? It's about challenging these rigid labels that society tries to put on people. Absolutely. And it really resonates with this whole idea that sexuality is a spectrum. It's not always black and white. Exactly. We're seeing this shift in how we understand gender and sexuality. It's becoming much more fluid. And it's great that he's using his platform to contribute to that conversation. Oh, for sure. And you know what else really struck me? There's this quote in the article where he says, the real truth about my life and my sexuality is that, man, I'm just figuring it out like everyone. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. I mean, it's just so honest and relatable, right? Because who among us hasn't felt that way at some point? Especially at that age. I mean, figuring out who you are and where you fit in is a lifelong process. Exactly. And I think it's so refreshing to see someone like Mendez acknowledge that, especially someone in the public eye. Right. It's like he's saying, it's okay to not have all the answers. It's okay to be on a journey. Yeah. And that's a really powerful message to send to his fans, many of whom are probably grappling with some of those same questions. Absolutely. Especially considering how much pressure there is to label everything and everyone. Totally. We're so quick to put people in boxes. But the reality is so much more complex than that. Right. And I think Mendes is really challenging that, which is so important. Yeah. It's like he's saying, hey, it's OK to be you, whoever that is. And it's OK for that to change and evolve over time. And I think that's a message that everyone needs to hear, whether you're a fan of his music or not. Yeah, for sure. It's about embracing authenticity. And 
allowing ourselves and others the space to grow. So bringing it back to Red Rocks, I mean, that choice of venue is just so perfect, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like we were saying before, it's known for being this really authentic and vulnerable space. Exactly. It's like he intentionally chose this setting to amplify his message. Yeah, like, I'm not going to hide this. I'm going to share it in a place that celebrates realness. And it makes you wonder, right, what impact will this have? I mean, we're talking about a global superstar. Huge cultural influence. His statement. This whole thing could really help shift the conversation around sexuality. Oh, yeah, especially for younger generations. It could make someone struggling with their own identity feel seen and validated. Absolutely. And, you know, it, it really makes you think about the power of these kinds of public declarations. The ripple effect, right? Exactly. Like, how will this shape the way we talk about sexuality moving forward? What role do celebrities like Mendez play in all of this? Big questions. I mean... I don't know if we had the answers, but it's definitely something worth thinking about. Definitely makes you want to see where things go from here, right? Absolutely. And, you know, I think that's the perfect note to leave our listeners on. Yeah. Lots to ponder. For sure. Thanks for diving deep with me on this one. Anytime this was a good one. All right. Until next time. See ya.